Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Total War Rome 2 with a bar divided as Palmyra. Last we left off, we're finishing up the Civil War. Um, we've reduced the rebels to Nicomedea, Samosata, and Rhodos. We've also launched our invasion of Ethiopia. We'll see where that goes. It's going, uh, I think we're, we're ready to end the turn here. Uh, is there anything else to do? I don't believe so. We've got armies ready to invade. I do have an army here ready to invade Rhodos if I wanted to. This army, in the same degree, could invade Rhodos as well. Although this army is actually a full complement, this one's not. And we have two armies in Africa that are basically ready to ready to go. Got a few um, makeshift some population surpluses. Hendermentum. There we go. We'll get some. Yeah, we'll get some. In Leptis Magna, we're gonna get some uh, some farming going. Some farms. Okay. Let's go ahead and then turn here. I think there's nothing else for us to do this turn. So yeah, we've been doing pretty good. It's just the Civil War thing. It's it's like I have a popular, you know, a prosperous, militarily powerful, united and stable empire. Why am I having these random civil wars and stuff? It's like I really should not be integrating these other parties and stuff. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Rampant piracy. It's just, it's, you know, it seems, a, the Civil Wars seem a little arbitrary. Just, just a smidge. It's like I played my cards right for, for most of this, most of this campaign. It's just a little annoying. It's a little annoying that, um, I'm dealing with, like, Civil Wars and stuff. It's just kind of annoying. Let's see, so I got, uh, let's see, three Palmarine Hixeris, three Tower Pentaries, three Scorpion Trieris, and then... Three Scorpion Trieris. Mm -hmm. I think I'll actually take, yeah, probably gonna get rid of these guys. No, we'll see. That's fine for now. I'm just trying to get ships into this navy so we can we can take care of this business. Okay. And then what do you guys have to do? You're raiding over here? Oh, okay. Whoa, look at that force. Dude, that's actually a pretty large army right there. Okay. So it's basically just spearmen. Nothing I can't handle. I do wonder though, dude, how are you failing these sabotages? It's seventy-three percent. Yeah, Blemies, you're mad at me, but hopefully that'll uh, take care of itself in time. Decline state. We're already trading too, so that's cool. Be well. Let's give this one more turn of replenishment, and then we declare war and mate row it. I'm pretty sure, honestly, I could probably defeat this army. No problem. Um, damn, that's a lot of archers, though. I'll give them that much. But we have archers of our own. The Hemian archers, not to mention our horse archers and the cataphracts. We've got archers of our own. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with the Spanish Soterior anymore. I don't know. Let's get rid let's get. Let's finish up this secession war, though, before we uh, really take another geographic look at the... Um, the invasion of Gaelic Rome. Our income has also <sighs> decreased quite considerably. Mm, probably because of the armies, the, the expensive armies that I've been fielding. Not, not probably so much of anything else but that, so. Peace was negotiated. Still protected from a secession of civil war, but this will expire in three turns. Are you kidding me? I can have multiple succession wars? Or secession wars, I guess? 
Good to know, I suppose. I fight for the people. Attrition. Tyros. Uh, let's take a look here. Egyptus, you're actually making me a lot of money. But I'm I'm pretty sure Syria is more wealthy than Egyptus. Well, maybe, maybe actually, it's maybe, maybe Syrian, because Judea is only three. Judea is only three. Maybe it's Egyptus and Syria that are my most wealthiest provinces. Let's go to Syria. Let's go and turn on that tax harvesting. Honey, man, this 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 civil war thing is kind of weird. Just a little bit. Salamis, what am I gonna do about this? What I think we're going to try and do is blockade this and then move for Rodos. I think I can land. If I can get a force to land here, we'll be fine. If you can just get on land. Just land there. Okay. Let's take a look. What do you do here? He's got three armies. So this is, uh, they're both at full strength. So it's 40, 40 units plus the garrison from the city versus my 20 units. That is a veteran, very heavily armored, very elite force. Curious. Uh, and you've not succeeded in one of these sabotage attempts. These guys are super wealthy, actually. Wow. These guys are fording a lot of armies. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Rome knows. I had a non aggression pack with Lusit Lusitania. Now they're, they're, they canceled it. I don't know why. Oh, rat devastation in Agula. That's unfortunate. Syria, Egyptus, Judea. Holy crap! We we cannot succeed in any actions down here. With actually like really good percentages. That's really unfortunate. Okay, what are we gonna do here? I want to go up to Nicobadia. We need to do, we do need to do that. I should be able to auto-resolve this. Not really a battle I want to fight. 
Okay. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And now we send you to Nicomedia. Oh, that we send you to Nicomedia. I think you're just closer, though. How long would it take you to get here? Yeah, no. I'm gonna send you to Tyros, as I originally planned. I feel like this guy reorganized his settlements. I can't remember what they were before. Alright, we'll have you guys wait there for a bit. You guys just hang out there. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I don't know. Could I defeat both those armies and the garrison stuff just by myself with this one army? <laughs> I I, th I think probably I could. We'd just be outnumbered, <laughs> you know. So I'd have to be like, I'd have to probably cheese it pretty bad. But I mean, I can't afford I can't afford a military defeat. That would be pretty bad. That would be really unfortunate. God, look at this guy's empire. And I haven't discovered I haven't discovered any of the factions that Gaelic Rome is at war with. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do down here. And if anything, I'm gonna go check out what's going on with uh, Exum. I wonder what he's up to. I could probably defeat either one of those guys. Holy crap! Wow, now we have Jewish families. Check it out. We have a new party. That's kind of cool. Wait, did somebody... Did that just happen? New party... Um, a new party is formed. Oh my god. One of my most loyal generals. Whoa, dude. Alright, as long as we can... Get, yeah, he's the guy in Gortina. Dude, he was pretty... He was a pretty big deal. Alright, as long as we keep everybody loyal, we should be alright. Whatever that means. Uh. Row, damn you. Damn it, Goldbloom. Okay, so we already got the Pummering Cataphracts. I needed, I needed Hemion Archers, right? I need Hemion Archers, I need Legionaries. Look at this! This is four armies. This guy's one province. He can support four armies? What kind of, what kind of cheese is that? Very interesting indeed. Rotos, you're doing fine. Although we do have banditry. That's right, we do banditry in Rotos. 
Trust me, I know it's a problem. We'll, have, we'll see what you can do against my Ian. Okay, so no risk of civil war, at least for now. Um, our relations with Gaelic Roman declined significantly. Trees with the Gothi. Okay. Holy crap. All right, we'll take we'll take Axum then next turn. Yeah, I should be pretty good to to do that. I don't think we have too many issues. Oh, this guy did reorganize this a little bit. I think he got made of, I think he got rid of my Virgilis or Bonnie. Damn it. Oh shit. Okay. So we kill that guy. He's got a little bit of garrison. It's not too much. We got this this force ready to evade us. Made superior. That'll be something. Damn Romans. Um. Still gonna invade all of this. I just I want to have this situation in the east secure. I want to get all of Arabia and Ethiopia before we declare one one the Gaelic Rome. Because uh, fighting Gaelic Rome is gonna be. Pretty difficult. I'm gonna need all my men for that. Every man I got. I have to be cautious. Rome does not ask. I'm gonna have to check up on this like daily. Damn. And I have to do my best to not piss off the other political parties. Jewish families control that. Uh, Egyptian families control this. All right, that's not too bad. Finally! Oh my god! Dude, is that the auto resolve? Let me see. Let me see if it can at least make them a client state peacefully. Oh, they're not gonna do it anyway. Alright, no, fuck it then. Dude, actually, I would fight this, but holy crap, look at that auto resolve. Wow. That is incredible. You see that? It's nuts. 
Veterans of Uranthus. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That art resolve is ridiculous. Jesus. Oh, I can't trade with this guy, really? That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you a gift. There is little profit in this for my people. Alright. Alright. Saba's over there. What the f This guy's getting like four regiments. I don't even know, man. Actually, yeah, it would probably be easier just to come through here himself. Then you go, you go over here. You guys, looks like there's disease or something here. Curious. Okay, and then you're going to Nicobadia. Oh my god, that's a far ass walk. Ooh, enemy wounded. Cool. Alright, take it. Auto resolve that shit. It's end of the Pomeranian Secessionists. Alright. No more risk of civil war, thank god. So we have five armies under our house, and we have one that belongs to the Egyptian families. Oh no, to the Jewish families, I think. Yeah. Okay. So the Civil War is over. We can keep pushing into Arabia. I can keep pushing into Ethiopia with me, Roy. I'm gonna get you're gonna finish off your army composition. I have this army ready to invade Greece, basically. Um, if I deem it fit to do so. This is gonna be kind of curious. I'm I'm actually considering attacking this guy and letting him come to me. I'm actually really curious to see what would happen. Actually, like after that auto resolve, I really do wonder if this guy could defeat that army or those armies. It'd be so beast. That'd be an awesome battle to watch. Oh man, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I might have to do that. I might have to do that. Um, let me. I kind of want to get this guy. I want him to send him to Arabia. Shouldn't take too long, but I want to do that. Himyar, Marib, Mascot won't be too hard to take out. Gerhea, yeah. The only thing is traveling to and from a province. It's going to be a little difficult. Do client states give me money? That's what I should figure out. I don't know. Damn, we make a lot of trade with some of these guys. Damn, training with Gaelic Rome is actually worth quite a bit. Do yeah, Satrap is client Oh, so they do give me income. Okay. All right, curious. Spanish Interior. Still at war with the Langobardi, who I have not discovered. It's unfortunate. The German Confederation is holding firm over here. Okay. Hmm. We have living crap tons of money. We have a lot of money. Ooh. There's been a little bit of sabotage down here. Cool. with this force. Holy shit. Commander. Do I have any ele elephants in this force? I don't. I swear they have elephants, right? Yeah. 
they do. Hmm. Not sure what we're gonna do about that. Paragamon, we can do something too. Uh, what do I want here? I could do... Industry wouldn't be too bad. We have some banditry though. I'll grab a Virgil's or Bonnie. Should be fine. This army, you guys are okay. We gotta get you some more troops. Up here. You're going down to Arabia. Uh, we've got Imperial Cataphracts. Or Pomerian Cataphracts. I need Legionaries, I think. Hit me and archers, right? And legionaries. I think so. Yep. Yep. Level four veterancy. Oh, wow. Let's get the upgrades for armor and weapons. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and then we'll see what happens here. I st I'm not, you know, I don't know. I, I want to attack those troops just to see how it would be. I wonder if I could possibly get, does that guy have night battles? Do I have any general that has night battles enabled? That would be pretty damn useful for no reinforcements. That would allow me to win, basically. No reinforcements at all. Shit, night battles would actually really come in handy, now that I think about it. Hmm. I am a virtuous man. Damn street. All right, you hang out there. This guy, you're poised to strike at one of these positions. What do you wish of me? Holy shit! This guy's three armies with one city. He's got three armies of these cheap ass spearmen. And he's got elephants, though. Gotta keep that in mind. And he's got uh, Garrison here, too. He's actually got quite a few archers. A lot of archers could actually really do damage to our troops. You gotta be careful about that. It's not as, you know... The, I know the archers are crappy, but... You do have to be very cautious. Where is his leader? Yeah, this is his king. do huge amounts of damage to his king. Wow. Shit to the archers, though. I can't really afford to send another army down here. I wonder if we mess with this city. I should be able to sabotage it in a few ways. Hmm. Or, like, declare a war on him? No, I'm not sure if that will work. Rome is as always. Not sure if that will work. Maybe. I mean, I'd like to go to. Oh, wow. I wonder who's over here. He's at war over here. This is probably the Saxony. The Gothi. Who have yet to take Tremontium. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Um, so this invasion of, um, of North Africa would actually be pretty swift. Carthago falls, Lambasis falls, we go for Domini and then Gardenas, and then Siga, Tingis, and Rutibus for Mauritania. And then we just push up straight into, uh... Should have been a hero. Now, now, what is also possible... Is we declare war on Hispania Ceterior, Gaelic Rome most likely comes on in. We take out Greece really fast, and then we just push in for like Tremontium and Thessalonica and all that stuff and just push up the coast. The Gothi are right next to me, so they're covering my right flank. I don't really have to worry about, you know, any, any, um, war with them. And as long as we have a decent fleet, probably around here near Carthago and here at least maybe into the Adriatic, if not, if not the Aegean. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. We'd actually be, we'd actually be okay. Um, I've got this army ready to move out. I've got this guy ready to invade Greece. This guy could probably go for, uh, Tremontium. That'd be our first step into Macedonia, our first push. So maybe I should not move this spy after all. Maybe I should keep him here. For this, for this front. I don't want to go to war with Gaelic Rome, and I don't want to go with the Spanish Superior. I don't want to go to war with any of them. But I'm thinking that may need to be what happens. I could go check out with this force, just to, just to push the border. I can go and kind of investigate, see what's going on over here. Oh, sorry, Medea, I didn't mean to... Yeah, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Welcome, I suppose. Hmm. In time. Oh, let's see. Meru and Blemies went to war again. Okay. Alright, we'll see what happens with that then. Wow, look at these guys. Look at the armies. <laughs> yeah, so maybe uh, maybe that's what we do. Is is just We kind of just start this war. Just see what we can do. The political unrest is something we're going to have to keep in mind, but... So far, these guys are at least somewhat loyal. So, you know. It's weird. It's kind of strange. Yeah. Let's go for Tremontium, I guess. Start pushing on into here. Let me see if the Gothia will give me military access. Flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like a spear and have a point. Holy uh -oh. shit. Alright, fine then. Fuck you. <laughs> We're still training with them, so, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so one, two, third army in Ethiopia. A fourth into Arabia and a fifth. No, that's not going to work though. I can't have one. Well, no, we no, we we have two armies. How many armies do we have? Six. Yes. Two armies for the Greek campaign. One army for the Ethiopian campaign. Two armies for the North African campaign. One army for the Arabian campaign. That has to work, right? Right. <laughs> that has to work. Alright, let's get one more turn. Yeah, that, that'll that have to be good. That's a, that's pretty formidable, right? Two armies from North Africa, two armies from Greece, one army on the peripheries. On oh, no, Arabia and Ethiopia, specifically. A simple tribute is all that is expected and needed. Then all can be fair words between us. Hmm. Sorry, dude. I'm coming through, Gothi. Sorry. We're coming through. Okay, at least the parties are loyal. For now. It's fine. So if you go to Blemis. Yeah, relations are decreasing with the Gaelics, though. These guys are not as... They're friendly, but... I can already kind of tell they're not going to be friendly for long. Welcome, friend. I'm still glad the Sassanids are pretty, pretty friendly. Ready 
Okay, I have no idea what's there. Dude, look at this. This guy's a bit, this guy's affording basically like four stacks. <laughs> Holy shit. That's ridiculous. Mischief. I have seen it done. Wow, we wreck this army. Look at that. Look at those losses. Holy crap. Let's see a shit ton of archers. Shit ton of spearmen. <laughs> Versus cataphracts, armored horse archers, armored bikemen, armored swordsmen, palmarine legionaries, Amian archers. His archers are actually my worst concern. The amount of archers that he could bring to bear <laughs> is ridiculous. Let's find out what is painted Soteriori has here. Because I'm actually thinking his main armies are going to be in Greece. Which they probably are. Which they probably are. Palmarine gods. Archers, horse archers, which we can take on because we have our horse archers of our own. Let's get a garrison, though. Uh, cohorts, pikemen, Roman legionary cavalry. We should be able to take that on. Yeah, we have our own cataphracts. We have our own horse archers, our own pikemen, our own armored swordsmen. Plenty of legionaries. He's gonna have to sally forth against me, so why not? <clears throat> What the fuck? Dude, look at all those archers. Jesus. Look at all of these archers. What do you wish of me? No, what's his what's his yeah? I actually usually do not commit arson that much, but I, I wonder if it could help out with, with this. I don't know. Or like if I raided his stuff, we do that. Can I raid him? Yeah. I'm trying to mess with his economy. I wonder if I could. I wonder if I could force him to declare war on me. I don't know. I wonder if I if I raid him enough, will he start taking attrition because he can't afford his troops? That might be our way in. Let's give it a shot. Can't hurt, right? At your command. Is that all? Okay. No risk of civil war. We hunger for battle. Hmm. At your command. Commander. Ready for March. At your command. Advance. 
What the hell? Arabian Slingers? Fascinating. Alright, let's declare war on this guy. Does he yell at anybody? No. Am I always to be Any besieging settlement? Spearmen, slingers, couple camel spearmen. We take this Very interesting indeed. Before you say anything, no I could probably auto resolve this one, but I may fight this one. I may fight that one actually. Those slingers are gonna be kind of annoying though. I'm glad we went kind of heavy on cavalry. Cataphracts, camels, horse archers, plus our own archers, plus our infantry. Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad we did that. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Twitch or our merchandise store. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.